Hi Seeksters, hope your day is going well. Today's video is going to be a lookbook featuring a few outfits I've worn this season. If you like videos like this, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. This first look is all about this fun, flippy skirt. I really wanted to play around with the contrasting colors, so I also opted for a black and white print sweater just to have a little bit of fun mixing prints. For my body type, I tend to stay away from pencil skirts. However, if I'm gonna do a pencil skirt, I always go for one with an interesting detail because that helps to camouflage my midsection. Now this skirt fits the bill perfectly because not only does it have contrasting stripes, it also has the really fun, flirty, scalloped detail. And to break up all the black and white, I finished off the look with a fun pop of red via my pumps. So this next look was all about this cream colored sweater dress. So creams, whites, just lighter colors in general tend to highlight problem areas and can be tricky when you're a curvy girl. However, this dress worked because I was able to tweak it to suit my shape. So the first order of business was to define the waist. This dress naturally is kind of like an oversized fit, which actually worked for me because it allowed, you know, the fabric to kind of skim off my body, which is always flattering. So in order to highlight my waist, I went for a fanny pack bum bag. What are we calling them these days? Now this fanny pack worked especially for this look because not only did it help to cinch my waist in and give the dress a little bit of shape, but it also helped to draw attention away from my midsection. I finished off the look with a pair of snakeskin pumps just to add a little bit of print and interest to the look and my heart-shaped sunglasses. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you will not see the picture of me with the heart-shaped sunglasses. You will see the picture of me with the pink sunglasses. So comment below which one you prefer. This next look features my favorite pair of jeans at the moment. I talked about them in my collective haul. Now, what I like about these jeans is that they're cut perfectly for my shape. If you're a curvy girl and you're looking for straight cut jeans, definitely check these out. The rise of the jeans are perfect for me as well. If you're a curvy girl and you're looking for straight cut jeans, definitely look for straight cut jeans that are made of a lighter cotton fabric because they tend to stretch out a little bit and um, you won't have as hard of a time matching your hips to your waist. So I really wanted to play with black and brown for this look. So I went for this brown um, ribbed top that I've had for several years from ASOS, black sky high heels because they look great with these jeans and then for an unexpected twist I threw on my puffer jacket. This is how you keep yourself warm and chic. Now on those warmer more spring-like days this outfit is perfect. I cannot stress enough how much a blazer is your friend if you carry any weight around your midsection. Just anything, any structured coat, blazer, biker jacket, you name it. I love a double-breasted blazer because you can wrap it around you like I've done so and cinch in your waist. Um, but I also love it because it really helps to camouflage the belly area. Because this style of blazer is very masculine and the print is very masculine, I decided to juxtapose that and pair it with a satin sexy slip skirt. Now again, a slip skirt is very sexy, very boudoir inspired. And so instead of going for a pair of like really high heels, I went for some, you know, kitten heeled mules. Again, we're mixing different I guess styles together to create a very fashion look. The secret to wearing all white as a brown girl is to not wear white. Yes, I said it. 
don't wear white. Opt for white alternatives, if that makes any sense. Like here, I have some ivory, some vanilla, some creams going. If you go for a stark white, the contrast is a little jarring. And another thing I love to do when I wear any color monochrome is to mix different textures. So here we've got sequins, okay? We've got leather, we've got chiffon. You know, you could also, I could have opted for a chunky sweater. If you're gonna go monochrome, definitely add a little bit more interest to your look by opting for pieces in different textures. So in my How to Style Yourself Slim video, I talked about how important it is to opt for pants on the darker side if you happen to be pear shaped or if you happen to carry a lot of weight around your bottom half. A darker color on bottom will help lengthen you. Since I was going for something dark on the bottom, I wanted to highlight the top. So here I have on a snakeskin sort of sheer faux turtleneck situation here. I also threw on a pair of, you know, glasses and I'm doing a red lip. So I'm really driving the eye upwards. I'm also a die hard paper bag pant fan because they really help to highlight my waist. Also the extra pleats that are built into the style of pant also helps to camouflage, you know, any saddlebags, muffin tops, etc. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're looking to develop, improve, or level up your style in 2020, check out this video. For more lookbooks just like this one, check out this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed.